Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Post of the Week, and today we're going to talk iRules. And we had a question from uh, community member Shan P, and he's, he's asking about how he can change a little chunk of data in a URI. And so this isn't the real URI from the thread. I'll link it and you can go look at the real deal. But let's say my URI is long index dot HTML. Okay? So if, if I want to change, let's say, this part of the URI, and in his case, he wanted to take the sixth chunk in the URI and add a dot. In our case, we'll just make it the fourth because I don't want to write that much. So I want to take this and I essentially want to put in a dot right there. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to split this thing up. And the best thing is to use the split command. So we've set the URI. You can do a split URI and we can split on the slash. And what that does is it breaks it up into empty set, which is like before the first slash right here. And then my URI is long and then index.html. All right, so lindex, um, in order to get that particular piece of data, starts at zero. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you're using the get field command, which essentially combines the get field and the, uh, I mean, sorry, the get field combines, combines lindex and split, and I'll show you how that works here in a second. But that starts at one. So if I'm going to then combine this stuff and I want to say I'm going to set my block. So set blocks and then I'm going to do an L index split URI on that and I want which one? Fourth. Okay. And now that word here is going to be set to this block variable, okay? And then here's where the, here's where the magic starts. The, the string map command uh, allows you to then just take this block that we set and then set it to whatever you want. And there's a couple different ways you can do string map. With variables, the standard format doesn't really work. And that is string map, and usually pattern A, pattern B, and then URI. In this case, that's not going to work because the curly brackets um, essentially tell Tickle that I'm not going to interpret anything in there. Well, we set this to a variable, and so that variable is not going to be interpreted, and so it's just going to return what the URI was. So we have to use a different format. There's two options. You can do string map and then quote block and then we want the block again because we want to put the same thing back, but we just want to do it with a dot, okay? And then our, of course, URI, all right? And so in doing so, this will do exactly what we wanted to do. Take the original URI, add a dot. That's one option. Another option is string map, and then we can put a list in here, and then kind of the same thing block repeated with the dot and the list and then URI. And so both of these options is option one, this is option two. And I tweeted this yesterday and I was like, hey, these are two options to be able to uh, use variables within string map. Which one's more performant? And you know, this one's easier to read, the one with the quotes, much easier to read. Uh, but this one is actually about 50% faster. So when you're thinking about string map and what you're doing and, and your overall holistic approach to optimizing your iRules, you'll, you'll want to use option two from a performance standpoint. But if you're not the only one um, maintaining iRules and, and others may not understand what's going on here, uh, this format works, it's just not as performant. And so um, that's, that's essentially the solution string, check out your, your string commands. There's a lot of string commands that, that offer a lot of power. And uh, Shan P, great question. And um, 
We'll see you next week with a new post of the week. Thanks for joining us.